We're supposed to believe that during the height of the presidential campaign, on the advice of a guy he met at the Miss Universe pageant, Don Jr. said, hey, Jared, Paul, I know you guys are a little busy right now, but I need you to come to a meeting. With who? I don't know. <laughs> About what? I'm not telling you. Okay, we're in. President Trump is being criticized now because he allowed his daughter Ivanka to sit in for him at the G20 summit. Yeah, Ivanka sat in for him at the G20 summit. At a press conference today, the White House's press secretary's eight-year-old daughter said it's no big deal. <laughs> I was asked to have a meeting by an acquaintance who I was told might have information helpful to the campaign. It quickly became clear that she had no meaningful information, and she then changed subjects and began discussing the adoption of Russian children and mentioned the Magnitsky Act. It became clear to me that this was the true agenda all along and that the claims of potentially helpful information were a pretext for the meeting. Donald Jr.'s defense is that he tried to collude, but instead he got Russian catfished. Of course, the most anticipated moment was President Trump's face-to-face -face meeting with Vladimir Putin. I think it was Trump's six-month performance review. ISIS is on the verge of total defeat in Iraq. Yeah. News. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell ISIS is pretty much on the way out because they've already been booked to appear on next season's Dancing with the Stars. That's how you know. Putin and I discussed forming an impenetrable cybersecurity unit so that election hacking and many other negative things will be guarded. <laughs> dot, 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 and safe. <laughs> yes. Yes, just get Putin involved. It's like Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Only we're skipping Hannibal Lecter and going straight to Buffalo Bill. Okay, Bill, toss me that lotion so I can put it on my body, and let's go get the bad guys. At this weekend's G20 summit, President Trump and Vladimir Putin had a private two-and-a-half-hour meeting. Two-and-a-half-hour meeting, yeah. Yeah, probably not a good sign that it ended with Putin handing Trump a single red rose. <laughs> <laughs>